Well, have a good one. Brother Grimm back at you. Before, in my last video, I talked about some of the more famous ghost stories involving uh, military bases overseas here in Japan. And as promised, I wanted to relate to you a couple of the stories that are a little bit more off the beaten path involving the military bases in Okinawa. Now, Okinawa has a reputation for being an extremely active place. By like most islands, in fact. But in this case, I want to first talk about Kadena Air Force Base, specifically Building 2283. A quick Google search will find this base and some of its rumors. Essentially, what this building is, is a housing unit. It was made for families to live in who were stationed on the base. Right out of the gate, this place became famous mostly for the holy grail of paranormal investigation, and that is full-bodied apparitions. Figures, entire figures of people being seen around that house and around the yards outside it. What's striking about this is the reports were always different as to who these apparitions were. It was never constant. Some say that they saw a woman washing her hair in the sink. Others have reported seeing a samurai wandering around outside and many other stories in between. But see, beyond that, also, one of the things that we look for the most in paranormal investigations is permeated with this home, and that is poltergeist activity. In this house, knocks, noises, things moving, orbs of light shooting every which way, as well as violent type noises have been reported coming out of the house. To make it worse is this house is now no longer operational. They closed it many years back as being a fa family home and actually used it as a storage unit. And even that stopped happening. They won't confirm that this is because of the haunting, but the building is still there and is completely unused on a base that needs space. And there are buildings on either side of it that are being used too. And that's what makes this story also a little bit on the disturbing side. See, on one side of the house, they built a daycare. And the daycare has a problem keeping the children who are outside playing from throwing toys like balls and bats and various other things over the fence because they wanted to play with the children next door. Now, I have not been to this base per personally. What I do know, though, is from a first-hand account that there is a tomb located directly across from this home. A very old tomb, one that is neglected. Now, if you know how it works here in Japan and most of Asia, and this includes Okinawa, tombs are to be tended, otherwise the spirits get restless. And since there's also no fence between the home and this tomb, it makes trespassing very easy, regardless of which direction that you're going to do it. The next time you're in Kadena Air Force Base, have a look at Building 2283. Tell me what you see there. Now then, there's probably no way I could really live with myself if I didn't, if I talked about this subject and I didn't tell you the story about Camp Hansen and its Gate 3. The gate 3 at Camp Hansen got so intense and active with what it what was being seen there, that it actually closed down an access point inside the gate. Now what was happening at this gate is that on a great regular basis, to the point where some people would say it was almost every night or every other night, but very, very consistently, the guards at this gate would see a Japanese soldier wearing a World War II uniform bloodied up walk up to the gate with a cigarette and say, got a light? As soon as the guard would light for the cigarette, the figure would disappear right in front of them. And this happened constantly. American gate guards, Japanese gate guards, everybody had heard this story and many people were were freaked out about it, as you can understand. Now, this gate closed uh, probably, I don't know, the reports on when it closed varies up a little bit too much that I would really like to say. 
but I'm guessing somewhere in the neighborhood of five to ten years ago. Now, if somebody knows when this gate closed, please come and tell me. All my efforts so far to get an accurate number on when that happened have, uh, have not come up with anything reliable just yet. But additionally to this, it's right across the street on the outside of this gate, the non-military side of it, is a field which had been the site of an historical battle. And I'm not talking a World War II battle either. I'm talking about when they were using swords instead of guns. When, this, uh, when Okinawa was known as the Ryokan Kingdom and there were samurai trying to gain control of the kingdom from the locals as well as conflicting with each other in their own, uh, in their own squabbles. And at night, people who cross the gate into this field have reported many sounds such as moans and cries, even so far as to hit report and recording some yells that they have heard out there in the field of people dying and uh, not wanting to. Could be unmarked graves. The Okinawans and the Japanese are very, very cautious about lending proper burial rites to their people, especially their warriors. But Okinawa was considered more of the backwoods back then. And it could be that they were using mass graves and not burying people properly. Which tends to be the working theory going around a lot of people who hunt ghosts in this area. So the, and honestly, this is again, one place that I've never been. So if you have first-hand knowledge of these areas, please let me know. What I need to know is, number one, when did Gate 3 close? Because when, the, when people are asked about this, especially the Japanese security guards, they always laugh about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, close because it was haunted. And they start laughing. And they stop talking. They don't finish the story. Which is not unusual to people in this country who don't want to talk about the subject. It's kind of a cultural thing that you're going to find when you move out here for other subjects as well. So please, let me know, when did this gate close? What have you seen there? There are good YouTube videos out there on uh, Okinawan base ghost hunts. One where they actually captured a yell at gate three. Look it up, uh, please feel free to look it up. A quick search will find this one very quickly for you. Uh, it's not mine to give, so I'm not going to put it here. Another is a, uh, I believe it is a camp, um, which one is this? I believe it's a Kadena Air Force Base security camera video where a uh, shade is actually seen by security personnel watching the video in real time, wa wandering all over uh, all over the front gate area. So please look at that one too. It's one of the most uh, one of the most chilling and compelling pieces of visual evidence I think I've ever seen. Uh, again, not mine to show, so I'm not going to leave it for that. Tell me what you've seen. Give me an idea of when the gate three closed. Tell me what Building 2283 looks like or send me a picture. Like me on Facebook down here and follow me around. And I will follow you around, especially if you've got this kind of a knowledge. Uh, look at my Patreon account and let's keep things going over here so we can do some on-site investigations as well and improve things that I can bring to you. So, until next time, Brother Graham out. Happy hunting.